This is crazy. You said you wanted nude, not naked. This new chicken spot that just opened today and there's a robot making the chicken. So we're gonna go check it out. <laughs> Hello. I'm trying this new lip liner. half of the week basically outside i mean it's really nice out today but it's chilly past couple of days have been like short sleeve weather it was beautiful monday i had some friends over we just hung out at the apartment and then we got some takeout and ate it on the roof to watch the sunset it was still chilly but not unbearable but it was really nice and hopefully we can do that again soon because it's so pretty up there and like i forget that we have that on tuesday we went to brooklyn botanic garden to see the cherry blossoms and that was so beautiful i was in awe honestly like there was nothing like it it's so hard to capture how beautiful it is in photos like you just have to be there and just see how many blooms there are and like colors that flowers make and the sun and the shade it's perfect out everyone was laying out on the grass we did too wednesday i had to go to the city for a laser hair removal appointment after the mark and sire just 
hung out at Central Park. We found a place with open grass where Sarah could run, and then there was a huge cherry blossom tree. It's cold today, but um, I wanted to chit chat here because I've been posting too much about it on Instagram. I wanted to talk about flats so the other week i asked my instagram what they thought about flats and a lot of people voted actually i was surprised i asked them if we think flats are back in style the majority of people said that it's back so i just wanted to try it out dip my toes in it a little bit so i didn't want to buy and splurge on something that i don't know would look good on me or that i would like so i bought like 25 dollar flats i love them I just wanted to talk about that a little bit more while I add some moleskin on the backs of these because that'll help with breaking them in. Well honestly I already broke them in but I want them to be way more comfortable. Going back to the question that I asked my Instagram friends, people were telling me they look so cute but I don't think they're for me and I was like just try and look for what style you like. So I sent some links and hopefully people do like them but I've been posting about mine and everyone was like oh my gosh which one did you try? Honestly these were $25 ones from ASOS. They were on sale and I fell in love. I love the Mary Jane look with the strap here. These are pretty comfortable. Finally broke them in at the Brooklyn Botanic Garden. I walked almost 9,000 steps and they were fine. I didn't get any blisters or anything but my hack is putting band-aids on the back of it. I don't get blisters because that's where I hate getting blisters but that was a temporary fix so I got some moleskin to make it a little bit more permanent. After I walked in them and felt comfortable I was looking for a new one and I actually bought these Jeffrey Campbell ones. They're the mesh ones. They look so cute online but it's a no man. It's a no. These nude mesh ones I wanted a nude color for the summer. They look so cute but on mm -mm. No, it's a no. First of all, the sizing was off. I'm a true seven and they were so tight. My feet look squished and you could tell because they're mesh and see-through. And then the round toe was not giving. That's why I like these because they're square toe. The third thing was I asked Mark because he usually is my second opinion. And he said, I don't know about those. And I was trying my hardest to convince him. Oh, maybe it'll fit over this out with this and that. And he goes, you said you wanted nude, not naked, because you could see your whole foot in them. It was, it is not that cute, honestly. They remind me of those Asian grandma slippers, and they're actually trending right now, so I don't know, man, but it's a no for me. Maybe they'll work for you. They look so cute, honestly. I wish I could wear them, but I guess my feet are just not that cute. Once I tried those on and they didn't work, I was a little bit upset, and I was like, wait, why don't I just look for the nude version of these? I literally just looked on ASOS and they did. So I bought them immediately, also $25. And everyone agrees that they're back. Oh, just try them and see if you like them. Honestly, I saw these trending last year and I was hesitant because I was traumatized when I was a teen. All I wore were flats for like fancy occasions. I couldn't really wear heels yet. Man, the blisters I got, all the pain, it was never comfortable. So now I'm putting more skin under this. Honestly, the bandage worked, but the edge started to wear off right away. So I just wanted to get a stronger solution. That's what I've been up to. Other than that, I just wanted to say thank you for watching as always. I'm glad the weather is getting nicer so there's more outdoor content with Sire. And my goal is still 100 subs by June, by the end of June. And I have 85 right now, so we're so close. I just hope we can reach that goal. And I think we can. Everyone has been so supportive, so I have no doubts. But yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Brooklyn Botanical Garden in uh, Brooklyn. <laughs> <laughs> Mark, move that way more. Aww, I don't know if you guys are doing. <laughs>